Hi everyone, welcome to the second part. So we had already drawn the transient response or the transient current for a series DC excitation. So here it's very clear that we are applying the voltage and the switch was there at t equal to 0 minus at starting and it has moved from 0 plus this called t minus is called just before switching just one second or two second later and t equal to 0 plus is nothing but just after switching so the time between just before switching and just after switching is only 0 0.0001 second very very less time it switches the switching time is very less so this creates a transient and we analyze it the current or the total current across the resistor or inductor is given by v by r minus v by r into e to the power t by 2 already you know this equation and just expanding it so this is v by r into 1 minus e to the power t by tau so where tau we are going to call it as the time constant which is defined as the ratio of inductor to the resistor so therefore tau time constant is defined as l by r so now i'm separating this term so this can be written as v by r minus v by r into e to the power t by tau so here v by r is called steady state so generally this steady state will come into the picture when t is infinite when t is infinite means so here it has started and here you can see here this is and whenever the network undergoes t equal to infinite then i can say our inductor is under steady state condition so under steady state condition what is the magnitude of current for example v by r so this magnitude of current the steady state i am taking it as a directly n amperes so this is called directly it is having a, a current of a 10 amperes or 1 ampere so now transient so what is this transient so this is inductor starts slowly charging so it uh, charges to 63 percentage and 84 percentage and 98 percentage at intervals of t 2t as well as 4t after 40 you can see here the magnitude is almost the inductor is charged to 0 0.98 times the current so when it reaches uh, 60 automatic the maximum current has been charged is 1 ampere so 1 ampere current it has reached and that 1 ampere current is called steady state current and the steady state current is also called you see here what is involved voltage is involved okay so in this uh, steady state so in this steady state we what is involved voltage is involved therefore since voltage is involved this is called which response forced response since voltage is applied and due to this voltage you are getting this response therefore the steady state response is also called forced response but when you come to this uh, inductor it is having only uh, transient state so whenever in this uh, transient state the expression for the current is uh, so in the transient state you can see here so in this uh, in this transient state the expression for it is e to the power minus t by tau so if you want to express also you can express t by tau tau is equal to l by r you see here here we don't have any voltage terms we don't have any voltage terms or which is called as the forcing functions so where we don't have the forcing functions or voltage terms i can call this response so naturally when you apply the voltage to an inductor slowly it will try to charge so this is called as natural response this behavior of the inductor that's why this uh, nature is called natural response or natural behavior so therefore i can call this transient response as a natural property of an inductor so this is called natural response or the natural property of an inductor to charge of its own so whenever it is charging it will exhibit the curve v by r into 1 minus e to the power t by this is nothing but exponential rise the inductor is charging based upon its nature so this way of nature is called natural response after reaching after getting charged it reaches a value v by r and this value is called steady state and this response is called forced response so every waveform consists of an steady state response and transient response so here you are very clear about what happened to an inductor so in this case whenever we are given the supply 
the current starts flowing to the A and happily the inductor is charged with the polarities of positive and negative. So now you can see here the current is flowing like this. So now the current in the network is flowing like this and we obtain the expression of I of T. Now what happened suddenly is, so when you see here, when you see here, so now the inductor is charging. So now inductor has been charged with the polarities uh, as already marked uh, as positive and negative and the current is charged and we had to get the expression and we can see how the inductor is charged. Now already we are saying that the voltage across the inductor V equal to L di by dt and we are saying that inductor do not allow sudden changes in current so what it means is so actually current was flowing in this inductor like this in this direction what is shown in black color the current was flowing so suddenly if you remove the supply okay so suddenly supply is there you remove the supply you have performed opening so inductor will not allow the sudden change and this inductor will try to act as an source of opposite polarity how it was charged so this is how the inductor was charged and with this polarity the inductor is going to discharge the inductor is going to discharge and it tries to flow the current so it will try to form some other path and it will try to close so now inductor is trying to discharge so in this condition so you may have an internal switch and this internal switch may be closed okay so previously it was charged and now the inductor is for example you can see in this network so in this network so inductor is previously charged and voltage is removed so this is the behavior of the inductor and we can see here this was in which position a position now it will try to move from a position to b position and you can see here this is r l so inductor is now the case of what discharging the polarities are positive and negative so therefore the current tries to flow in the same direction you see here previously current also flowing in this direction and here the current is also flowing in the same direction i can say that inductor is not allowing the current to become zero that is what the excellent property of an inductor that's why we call inductor does not allow the sudden changes in current by of its own property previously it was charged now it will try to if previous it was uh, charged and it has stored the energy the energy what it was stored now it is trying to discharge and it is trying to make the current to flow in one direction that's why we will call it as a inductor doesn't allow the inductor doesn't allow the sudden changes in current so previously current was flowing with some amount of two amperes it will also if the source is not available also it will try to make two, two amperes of current to flow by exhibiting its nature which is called energy discharge so previously when the source was there it was connected in this position you can see at one end it is connected and it was charged excellent it was operating so now we moved from a point to b point so this is nothing but a b point this is how the concept this is what i told i will explain in the next concept so now we are very clear about uh, now we need to find out the voltage across the inductor as well as uh, the voltage across the resistor so these two voltages we need to derive so before deriving is uh, we already know that the current the output current is given by the formula so v by r into 1 minus e to the power t by tau so tau we can write down uh, as l by R. So this I am simplifying uh, for both clarification. So V by R minus V by R into e to the power minus uh, T L by R can be written as R by L. So this is the original current uh, I of T. But we require the voltage across the inductor. The voltage across the inductor is equal to L d I of T divided by dt. So that is equal to L into 
differentiation of these two terms okay so the differentiation of these two terms is uh, v by r is one term minus v by r into v to the power t r by l so when you differentiate this term differentiation of constant is zero and again this is in the form of a i mean x into y we need to perform so when you perform it so this is nothing but uh, v by r this is nothing but uh, d by dx of x y is equal to x y dash plus y x dash two times just like uh, i'm taking x y dash so differentiation of this term is uh, e to the power minus t r by l and differentiation of e to the power x you have done is e to the power x and here uh, we will be getting minus uh, r by l plus y what is the y value directly e to the power minus uh, t r by l into x dash what is the x value x is v by r automatically differentiation of constant is so differentiation of a constant differentiation of constant is zero here you can see here this term will become zero and here minus and minus is there this will become as plus so you can write down so minus and minus will become plus this is nothing but plus v by r into r by l into e to the power minus t r by l so here we can uh, cancel out the terms r r will get cancelled l l will get cancelled and we are going to get the voltage across the inductor is equal to v into e to the power minus r by l into t so this is the voltage across the inductor so this voltage across the inductor exponents e to the power minus t so this is an waveform where this is going to discharge with a magnitude of v the waveform is discharging e to the power minus r by l into t so this is an exponential discharge so here how it is going to have now let's try to find out the voltage across the resistor so the voltage across the resistor i can write down it as r into i of t so this is r into what is i of t where we had already solved it v by r minus v by r into e to the power minus t r by l so you can directly see here so r r will get cancelled we can write down this as v is common 1 minus e to the power minus e by tau so you can see here this expression is 1 minus so this is the voltage across the resistor versus time and this n minus is nothing but reverse so e to the power minus t by tau is an decay value 1 minus if you perform 1 minus e to the power t by tau if you perform this is an exponential rise so now this waveform is an exponential rise and maintains a magnitude of v maintains a magnitude of v and this waveform is v into 1 minus e to the power t by tau so this is how we can have the volt i mean uh, voltage across a resistor and voltage across an inductor so when you draw these uh, two waveforms uh, you can see here these two are in opposite direction so this is in the form of charging and this is in the form of discharging so actually this is like a transient state okay so here this is called a transient state and this state is called steady state so actually the inductor suddenly voltage is given is charge suddenly voltage is given therefore transient state and it is so suddenly voltage is given inductor is charging and it has came to which state steady state suddenly you remove the supply once again the inductor is discharged so this period of sudden changes is called transient state before it was stable before giving the supply and after discharging also it is stable so these two states are stable states it's like how i told when you're traveling on a road okay you got a bump okay so here the two wheeler you are driving on a uh, two wheeler so when you're driving uh, you are still in steady state so suddenly what happened you got a bump and inductor has been charged and 
the supply is removed, the inductor of its own nature is trying to discharge. So, this is period is called transient state. So, suddenly it happened. So, depending upon the height of that, uh, um, what you can say, the road bump. So, it will have, it have some, some may it may have higher height, some may have lower height or sometimes it may be like uh, having some sort of uh, stones or something depending upon the nature of road. So, the transient behavior, the vehicle the dynamics will change. So, that is called transient state, sudden change and this is available only for lesser time. So, what is the time taken to cross an uh, bump is 4 seconds. After that, the vehicle will try to come to steady state uh, by applying the brake. So this is how we how to understand the, the how an inductor behavior is. Okay. So this is the behavior of the inductor before giving the supply. This is the behavior of the inductor after discharging. So in between this time, suddenly given, but the inductor what will happen? So the inductor has stored the energy, and after that, what it has happened? It has been discharged the energy. What it has sorry discharged the energy. What it has been stored. This is how the beauty of an inductor. So that's how. We are to find out uh, all this uh, transient behavior of an resistor as well as the inductor. So hope, so everyone feel this topic is very tough. So in order to make you very clear, I am discussing all these things. So this is how the transient response of an series RL. Very simple. The inductor is charging, inductor is discharging. The polarities are changed. So previously the polarities were positive, negative, and the polarities has changed, and the inductor is trying to make the current not to change. That's how we are saying that uh, inductor never is what I told uh, inductor never allows the sudden change in current. Uh, so it has been so here this is was previously inductor is not given supply steady state and after discharging also this is steady state. When you give the supply it is exhibiting its property and it is trying to charge. After coming to a steady state it has been fully charged. What it has to do? So now what we have done is we have removed the supply, we have moved from point A to point B, we removed the supply. When you remove the supply, once again the energy what it has stored, it is trying to discharge, fully it is discharged and once again it came to steady state. Suddenly we are given the supply, that is it is called transient state and it is charging and this time taken is only 4 times the time constant and whenever it is fully charged, you remove the supply. So it is exhibiting its behavior which is called, it does not allow sudden change in voltage. Sorry, sudden allow the sudden change in current uh, and it will try to maintain the current by its uh, property and once again the inductor is discharging. This is how the beauty of an inductor is. So hope the content is useful. So if you feel the content is useful, please like, share the content uh, and share to your friends, uh, viewers uh, from.